Guys, I got a Spyro plush. I love this thing. I know it looks like it's from the Legend games, but I mean, look at it. It looks too cartoony to be in the le from the Legend games. And well, do we even talk about those? So, the story of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, is that, well, maybe dragons are being born. It is the Year of the Dragon. But then, suddenly, this bunny or rabbit or whatever named Bianca appears and steals them. But then, the dragons try to get it, but then they fail. So, Spyro has to go down the hole that she went down to actually get the eggs. Oh yeah, and dragon eggs are actually our main collectible in this game, and well... These are living, breathing dragons. Why are these being held hostage until you do a mission? That's pretty messed up. Alright, so gameplay. Uh, yep, it's the same as the first two, which is good. Collecting gems, hub worlds with levels in them, it's Spyro gameplay. Alright, so remember all those moves that Spyro learned last adventure in Spyro 2? Well, yeah, he remembers them in Spyro 3, so that's good. I don't want to learn them all over again. Oh yeah, and missions return, and well, they actually improved the missions, there are really, really good ones. But there are still a little bit of bad ones, and when they're bad, they are worse than the second game's bad missions. And there are also bosses. Of course there'll be bosses, this is a platformer. And well, the cool part about these bosses is they're mutated versions of normal enemies. Take that, Yoshi's Island. Oh yeah, and there are different play styles, uh, let's rank them. Sheila is really, really good. Sergeant Bird, really good. Bentley, meh. And finally, Agent 9. This one sucks. Okay, yes, I know there's a Sparks play style. I, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot to do that one. I don't know why, I just didn't play it. Alright, so now onto the soundtrack, so yes. This game's music also was composed by Stuart Copeland. And unfortunately, this game's music does not have the magical medieval feel to it, but it is probably the best the series has ever had. My favorite from the soundtrack being Sunny Villa. And yes, while the soundtrack is the best in the trilogy and the series, I don't think that Spyro 3 is the best game in the original trilogy. That goes to this game right here. Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage will always be my favorite in the original trilogy. I know everyone loves the third game over the second game, but I honestly just had more fun in this game than the third game. Okay, so I would put a spoiler warning and talk about the last boss with the sorceress, but... Honestly, just like Ripto, I feel like that should be experienced for yourself. Those two bosses are actually really, really good. So yeah, that wraps up the original Spyro Trilogy. I've reviewed all three games. And I've even reviewed a Hero's Tale, so that covers all the classic games. There's literally no other classic Spyro game for me to review. Like, there's no other... Oh my gosh, this is gonna be rough, isn't it?